Now we will talk about the infertility. What exactly is infertility? We have discussed in pre-human production also. Okay, inability to produce children. In a spite, that is the condition. In a spite of unprotected, protected sexual intercourse or cohabitation. Okay, so what could be the reason? The reason could be physical. He might not be physically fit. He might be impotent. He might not be. Uh, he might be sterile or might be congenital defect that is cryptokitism or uh, not be able to um, oligospermia or uh, or might not be over, uh, able to ovulate might ha having tumor or uh, taking drugs immunologically inactive or in most of the cases it is found to be psychological okay when the person is not psychologically developed he will not be able to fertile anymore. Uh, now the very important and the last topic is I want to get it finished now. Assisted reproductive technology. These are the these technologies are for those person who are not able to conceive or <coughs> give pregnancy. Okay, Vacha. So what exactly are these techniques? Number one is in vitro fertilization. What exactly in, happen in vitro fertilization? In vitro means, means outside the body. The fertilization is occurring outside the body. Fertilization, you know what is fertilization. Okay. So this condition is known as, or this uh, technique is known as in vitro fertilization. The ova and sperm are fused outside or in a test tube. This led to the formation of what? Zygote. And this zygote divide to form embryo. And the embryo is then transferred to uterus of female. You know that embryo cannot be transferred to the other part. Fallopian tube, right? So it should be uh, transferred to the uterus. Now what is zygote intra-fallopian transfer? Zygote. When the fertilization occurs outside, zygote is formed. It should be transferred to the fallopian tube. The zygote must not, the important need point is, <coughs> It must not be more than eight blastomere. Now the intrauterine transfer, you know that we cannot transfer the zygote up to the eight blastomere into the uterus. It must be more than eight blastomere. So in the intrauterine transfer, we will transfer the embryo with more than eight blastomere. Clear? Remember, I am writing it here. It is for the female and it is for the male. When the female is incompetent, which technique will you use? GIFT gift. You know, it is gift for the female and artificial insemination is for the male. So what happens in the gamete intrafallopian transfer? The ovum from the donor is collected and transfer into the female. The condition is who cannot produce. Okay. But can provide condition for fertilization and further development. Okay, this technique is known as gamete intrafallopian transfer. Suppose there is a lady who is ovulating, but uterus is not suitable for the implantation. What she should do? Okay, she should serve for a surrogate mother. Okay, so in that case, <coughs> the technique is used. <coughs> gamete intrafallopian transfer. I'm telling is artificial insemination. This is the in case of female. When the male is not able to fertilize the ova. So we can take the semen from the male or from the healthy donor. And that is introduced either into the vagina or into the uterus. And that will lead to the fertilization. That is artificial insemination. Last is intracytoplasmic injection. In this, we are injecting the sperm into the cytoplasm of ova. That's it. And as soon as the embryo is produced, it will be transported in the female uterus.